Okay, Marlo here with a tool selection for faster workflow video. We're going to take a look at some different workflows. Let's go to Preferences, General, to the Editing tab, and set Right Mouse Button to Opens Tool Menu. Now when we right click, we'll get the Tool Menu. In this case, if we look at the right hand side of the Arrange window, you can see we have two tool menus available, the left click tool and the command click tool. The left click tool will normally leave set on pointer. The command click tool we have set in this case on scissors. Now uh, we'll set the snap mode to beat. And let's try an example of this workflow. Let's say we wanted to chop up some of these regions into individual beats. We'll right click to bring up the tool menu. We'll select the zoom tool. We'll left click with the zoom tool to zoom in. We'll right click again to select the pointer tool. Then we'll hold the command key and click on the regions with the scissor tool to separate them. Then of course we would right click again to bring up the zoom tool. Left click with the zoom tool to zoom out. Right click again to bring up the tool menu and select the pointer tool. So there's one example of what you might consider a two tool menu workflow. Now let's look at a three tool menu workflow. Let's go to preferences, general, back to the editing tab and set right mouse button on is assignable to a tool. Now when we look at the right hand side of the arrange window, we can see we have three tool menus available. We've got the left click tool, which we'll leave set on pointer. We've got the right click tool, which we'll set on zoom. And then let's try setting the command click tool to marquee. Now let's try another workflow. In this case, we just have to right click to bring up the zoom tool, to zoom in, hold the command key, and we'll bring up the marquee tool. We'll make a marquee selection, maybe more than one track at a time. Click on the marquee selection to separate the regions. Like so. Now, there's another way we could do this. If we go back and put the command click tool on scissors again, we can come back over here, right click to zoom in, and let's say we wanted to chop this region up into individual beats. We'll hold the command key to bring up the scissor tool, then we'll hold the option key. Now with the scissor tool and the option key, we click on the region, logic will slice up the whole region into equal parts. So we'll hold the command key to bring up the scissor tool, and then we'll hold the option key, click on the region, and logic will slice up the region into equal parts automatically. Then right click to zoom back out again. Of course, one reason to chop up regions into individual beats might be so that we can take some of these regions and rearrange their order to get different patterns. Something like this. Okay, so there we have it, some different kinds of workflows. Thanks for watching.